I've been eating one meal a day, and I never get hungry anymore. Okay, sorry. I had to throw that in. Thank you. Welcome to the OMAD eating one meal a day. I want to talk to you. I'm on day 85, and I've lost like 35 pounds. I just bought this new shirt. Spilled some water on it. Sorry about that. Maybe it'll be dry, dried by this uh by the end of this video, got my coffee here. That was my editing job. I don't believe in editing. Okay, because you know, fancy cartoon things and zhoog, welcome to the OMAD. All that kind of stuff just wastes time and it doesn't really do much. Let me tell you, I, all I want to do is give you value. Let me tell you, I've been on day 85. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, 54 now, I just had a birthday, and all I used to do is overeat constantly. I mean, pizzas, Taco Bell, drive throughs and all that kind of stuff. And I've done, I tried the Atkins diet, uh, couldn't go to the bathroom. I tried, uh, let's see, um, I've tried so much stuff, I've tried not eating at all. I've tried just eating an apple for a day. Uh, uh, I've tried everything and I'm always up and down. Sometimes the scale says 170, sometimes it says 196. That's with no clothes. So if I did have clothes, it would have said 200. And all I'm saying is I tried everything. I was always so hungry. And then people says because your blood sugar level and insulin and all this kind of stuff. But I just want to show, again, okay, here's my, I always show you this. I haven't even checked it. Let's see, 84. Anything between 70 and um, 120 is great. Um, now, I've just watched What the Health and they're going on and on about how bad meat is and stuff. And so all the different uh, O matters and Kino and all those people that I'm in touch with online here, I kind of hit them up and asked what their opinion was. And um, the one bad thing about it is uh, the way they treat the chickens and the animals and the pigs and the cows and the stuff. I mean, they got a cow and I just, he wasn't feeling good. I guess so they stuck a knife in him without any shots and all this pus came out. And um, that probably wasn't a good thing to do. And sometimes they're picking up animals with by a uh, forklift and they're like, you know, or there's millions of chickens that can't even stand up and it's really awful. So... If I didn't eat meat, I could blame it on that. But to be honest with you, I've seen MDs, heart doctors go, it is because of the cholesterol buildup and the fatty foods and acids in the arteries. And I had four stents put in. I had a heart attack. I was so stubborn, I didn't even go to the doctor that night. I had to go the next day. And in 15 minutes, I was in surgery. But going back to... You know, should you eat meat? Should you not meat, eat meat? I might get tons of comments that say you should do more research. Well, let me tell you something. I've done so much research, and here's the research. Diet, exercise, should I eat meat or cheese or fatty or sugar? All I know is my diabetes numbers, they were completely out of control. If you've listened to this before, but the only thing that's helped is eating less food. Yes. Uh, I one plate a day, which I've already talked about. I just don't stuff it to the top, or you could divide that in thirds, and that would be like three meals a day. But you uh, you gotta fast a little bit. It's called intermittent fasting or whatever. I you know fast for twenty three hours, and then I take an hour off, and the weight's coming coming down. And then I was thinking, okay, should I get rid of meats altogether? You know, these people are saying, oh, there's an agenda. Someone just says, follow the money. Someone says, and then another medical doctor says, and people say, you know, it's the sugar that brings up diabetes and this and that. Um, all I know is if you want to lose weight, uh, I, I would first say I am a testament. I mean, Look at this. I got a, my chin there. I just bought a new outfit. I spilled a little water on it. I got some new shoes. I got these new pants. All I know is I'm really super excited because all I used to do is lay in bed. And I'm serious and watch Seinfeld and all this stuff. And I know you've already heard this. But if you could just eat one meal a day and get, and sometimes you're going to be hungry. And I've already kind of talked about that. But what it what it comes down to is instead of me doing all this research on meat and cheese and sugar and stuff, I know that if I just eat less, 
my pancreas works less, and my blood sugar numbers are cured. And if I went to a doctor, they'd say you don't have uh, diabetes anymore, especially a doctor out of state or another country. They wouldn't have any um, sight of it. But this, this uh, video, I really want, that was kind of a recap of a lot of stuff, but I really was trying to uh, um, focus on the fact that, I'm already forgetting because I'm just going on about this, is I don't even think about food anymore. I don't think about pizza, I don't think about candy, I don't think about burritos, I don't think about sandwiches, I don't think about subways, I don't think about... Uh, Chinese buffets, I don't think about pizza buffets, and if any of that's making you hungry, then you're not at the level that I'm at. I'm just joking. Um, this isn't a temporary thing, because it's 84 days, and that's probably, let me see, I started a couple days before my mom's birthday, July, 16th, July, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, okay, so I guess I'm going on around the fourth month or whatever, 84 days, I don't I'm not good at math. I already told you that. But it's not a phase. Uh, I go walk through Walmart. I see McDonald's. Don't even... I notice food now as much as I notice the grass or cars or this music stand or the couch. Food isn't even on my radar. You know, I'm not going to take that for granted because I'm going to keep working on it. But I don't think about food. I am never hungry. In fact, that's what I'm going to... I'm going to name this to catch people to watch this. I am never hungry anymore. And I'm, and the only time I am hungry is when I start eating because the insulin, uh, if you don't know what that means, is every time you eat, you get some insulin. The diabetics, uh, like the, di uh, not diabetics, but um, I forget. Okay, diabetes type one, they don't make it, so you have to shoot it up. Diabetic type two are the people who overeat, the heavy people like I was, the piggies, everybody. In fact, I just bought this shirt and it was the only medium they had. Everything was extra large. Out of a whole rack. Okay, that's a little funny. But I didn't mean to do that. Okay, but going back, I never think about food anymore. The only time I'm hungry is when I am, um, when I'm eating. And then I'm like, wow, this was really, really good. And then so the insulin and the, you know, you eat and you get hungry. How many times have you ate? And you weren't hungry at all, and then you got hungry. That's your insulin, the, the fat and the food and all that kind of stuff. Insulin's going, okay, okay, get get either energy or either fat. And so um, we'll go into this ketoacidosis, uh, ketosis. You know, this is all new to me. I know what it means, but I sometimes get the words wrong because I want to be uh, entertaining and stuff and have you. But going back. I never think about food anymore. And to tell you the truth, I'm never hungry. And I really don't care what I eat for dinner. You know, I'm trying to cut back on the carbs and the weight's just really coming off. And I uh, just wanted to tell you that. It's kind of a little update. But if you never want to be hungry again, just eat one meal a day. And just, you'll get to the point where there's just no way you'll consider eating anything for breakfast or lunch, or mine is dinner, okay, so if you want to do that other time, but I don't, I wouldn't want to eat just breakfast, and I don't have to go a whole day without eating, you know, at night, you kind of have a social thing and stuff, so, um, sorry for the rambling, but I hope you enjoy this video, and I would really like to do daily videos on just keeping people, I'm the Richard, uh, I just thought to myself, Michael Jackson is a uh, self-proclaimed king of pop, but I want to self proclaim myself the Richard Simmons of OMAD, eating one meal a day. So I want to motivate people, and I really like doing these videos, and um, I see a huge difference, and um, I wish I had some, I do have some before and after pictures, but um, I, they're just not queued up right now, but in fact, I think I might have one, uh, if you don't mind waiting here for one second. Uh, let's see, where's that one pic? I have this one picture, uh, hold on a second. Let me see how big my face was, so big. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's one. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, wait, can you see it? My hair is all gray, 
and my fridge, I've got so much face right here. And uh, so, okay, I don't think about food. It's not even an issue anymore. Weight's coming off more and more. I've lost over 35 pounds. It was 200. Now I'm in the 150s. Incredible. Um, thank you. Um, one thing about the um, review and one more thing about what the health, there's a lot of um, controversy about that, but I'm just going to focus on eating once a day and not overdo it, you know, and uh, maybe in a couple of months I'll be more educated or more sold on this. But the one thing I don't like the way they treat the bunnies and the kitties and the animals, I don't like the way they hurt the chickens and stuff. Uh, if there was a better way they could do that. Okay, <laughs> I like you. Didn't want to end on a down thing, but they don't treat the animals very good. But all right. Thank you.